Hi everyone, I'm Coach Andrea here at Art and Motion School of Dance. This is Coach Maddie. She is going to be my lovely assistant today. And today we're gonna to show you how we're gonna do company hair. So how we're gonna do it is we're just gonna do a nice low ponytail with a middle part. Um, so I'm actually gonna turn Maddie so that I can show you how we're gonna start with the middle part. The first things I like to do is I like to spray the hair down with some water. You can get a water bottle from like the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar, um, but it's nice to have. That way you can really slick the hair back. Well, maybe. There we go. There we go. All right. So I'm going to get her hair nice and wet up here in the top. suggest that you get a rat tail comb. Um, this makes it really easy to get a nice straight part down the middle. What I normally do is I just take it right from the middle of the dancer's nose and I go all the way back. I smooth it out. Now you see that we have a nice middle part. So the next thing that I do is I put on some styling gel. I just get a big glob of it and I will work it through the top of her head all the way around. Really get by the sides of the ears because we've got those little flyaways. And now you see that she's nice and wet. And then we can take the comb to start pulling it back into that low pony. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start smoothing this all out. Just work from the part all the way down to the back of her neck. Now remember, you'll do this exact same thing if your dancer has too short of hair to put it in a low pony. Um, you'll do a half up and half down, but it will still give, give the same effect. All right. The next thing I wanna do is, Maddie has black hair, so I wanna make sure that her hair tie matches the color of her hair. If you don't have a uh, color matching hair tie. You could always just put in the hair tie and take a piece of that hair and wrap it around and secure it with a bobby pin. All right, so I normally like to put the hair tie in. Sometimes I like to double up depending on how thick their hair is. Um, and then I go back through with the comb and I smooth it out. Now is a good time that you can go through, take your gel, Apply it in areas that are a little bit drier. All right, and then one of my favorite products is this Perfect Edges gel. And you just go ahead and you put your, your finger in it or whatever you wanna use, I have to use my finger. But I put it alongside of where her little baby hairs are and it really secures those baby hairs back. All right. And then the last thing that we do is we spray it with hairspray just for some extra secure. I do really like this hairspray, but feel free to use whatever works for your dancer and their hair type. Um, Maddie's hair is actually already pretty straight, but once you get it into the ponytail, if it's got a little bit of a wave to it, you can just take the hair straightener and work it down, separate it in pieces. Don't worry about straightening the hair while it's all down, um, just because this part doesn't really matter. It's mostly just this part that needs to be straight. If your dancer has curly hair, just make sure that you don't have that like frizz look that you use a gel or a cream to really plump those curls. Um, and then the last thing that I want to show you is for hair accessories. So some of your dancers have specific hair accessories um, that go into their hair. If you do, 
you will go ahead and place that to the right hand side of either the back of the pony unless it specifically says to the front um, but you'll place it right here behind the ear if not if you have our barrette that barrette will go right here above the pony you just slide it on in and there you go all right so if your dancer has some bangs i just wanted to show you a quick tip um, to use bobby pins on how to secure those bangs back along with the gel and the hairspray. So something we like to do when we put a bobby pin in the hair, make sure that the curved side is facing down towards the scalp, not the smooth side. Um, and I like to take it up right behind the back of her ear and slide it all the way in. And then I'll take another one and I'll make like an X across so that it gives it more of a secure hold. And if you need to, you can do some more back. So hopefully that helps with any dancers who have any kind of short hair or bangs or layers. Okay, and so now we have our competition hair. She is all complete and ready to go for stage. All right, so a tip for success that I wanted to show you. Um, I actually love these kind of containers. You can get them at any kind of store, Walmart, Target. Um, I am able to organize all of my hair ties, my accessories. Um, I actually have another container that I use that's got my bobby pins, my safety pins, some straps. Um, but I normally organize everything into these two containers. Uh, one of my awesome grandmas made me a little apron. Um, a lot of the dance moms really like these because they just wrap them around. They put in extra hair ties into the pocket so when they're on those runs, they can quickly grab. Um, sometimes they'll have like a stack of bobby pins. I know that I like to do this because I'm constantly putting bobby pins in dancer's hair. Um, there we go. And then you can put, you know, your combs, your brush, anything else that you want to just kind of stick in here. So hopefully that helps. If you need any help or need any assistance at all, please contact our company director, Melanie Short, or you can contact any of our AIM staff. We're happy to help you. We want this to be super stress-free and we hope these videos help. Have a great one.